Hello everyone, Canon Lowe here with Warmonger once again, and are you ready for some Path of Mayhem? So as you can see here, there's just a little bit more going on than usual. Well, we aren't doing tier 16s, so I guess there's that, but... Um, <laughs> We're doing what what is called the Mayhem Racing Event for Path of Exile, which basically means that um, every area that you go in is a lot more chaotic than usual. And you can have one of the following mods. This area has 20 exiles, this area has 20 invasion bosses, this area has 10 breaches, 20 strong boxes, and wasn't there one more? Tormented spirits. Oh yeah, you can also have 20 tormented spirits in an area. So, depending on which map you're doing and what time it is, uh, you can have one of those mods. So that's lovely. And I am currently playing an aura stacking build because I was going to have one in standard and I was wondering how they play and, to be honest, until we got to... Uh, well, more accurately, until I got Prism Guardian, being an aura stacker before you get purities is honestly r really terrible, so... Yes. Indeed. And also, potentially, certain Ascendancy nodes from the Guardian. Oh hey, Immortal Flesh. But as you can see here, Warmonger is doing most of the damage, as it should be. But uh, I have more or less, like, most of the auras that are beneficial, so... Even though that I only have 3000 energy shield, I am actually relatively tanky, or at least for this level... ...of maps. And I have 84% all res from the from the purities. So, oh yeah. Mhm. Mm and we've been doing this instead of heist because heist has kind of gotten to the point where we just don't really feel like doing anything with it anymore. Let me tell Naturally. You. Yeah. So there, there is a chance that we might like do a little bit more, more recording with our heist characters before that specific league ends, but uh, we'll have to see. I just wanted to show off a little bit of mayhem and what aura stacking can do. So. Explosions. <laughs> Indeed. Um, My mana is spent. No, you don't need mana. Yeah, who needs mana? Mana is so overrated, anyways. Let's do a low low mana build for it. Oh yes. So with this experience, uh, how about you describe what it, what my benefits are to your character since uh, the gameplay is just me trying to follow you for the most part? Uh, well basically, I go faster, I do more damage, and I don't die as much. Well I think that pretty much sums up any auras. Oh yes, Void Blood Face Tank, there we go. Yes. So, would you say that it's still uh, six times the damage, right? Uh, it, e yeah. So I am somehow making him do six times the damage, and I don't even have the we don't even have the eternal labyrinth done for me to get the final damaging uh, ascendancy node for the guardian. So that's pretty hilarious. <laughs> and and as far as I know, I am giving him fifty percent damage reduction and 50% evade chance. So, yes. <laughs> uh, 
Of course, the standard version is going to be a lot more tanky, as in having more than 3,000 energy shield. Which, considering how tanky I am, even with 3,000 energy shield, that's going to be pretty hilarious. I mean, granted, again, we're only doing a level 71 area, but considering yeah. how mayhem is, I think it kind of goes to show how much of a difference uh, they can make. So yeah, whenever we get around to getting the stuff for standard, I'll make a video on that and we're gonna see how much benefit a going all in or a stacker is to a headhunting build. So that's gonna be Yeah, that's gonna be very interesting. And that will and that video specifically is going to show one hundred percent delirious maps. We're gonna test it. Uh, how well it does in Juice tier 16s, and then after that do uh, Delirious maps. Since I don't, I think, I don't know if I actually uploaded any videos showing Delirious maps, because Delirious maps after you get to a certain point are really imbalanced. Yeah. So, Naturally, we typically don't have builds that are, like, so amazing that we can actually deal with that. But, uh... Warmonger here has a, a Blade Vortex build that... does... Um, that does headhunting and... and everything, so that he can actually do Tier 16. Delirious map somewhat by himself. So I'm just kind of icing on the cake for that. And I keep forgetting to activate my flasks naturally, so... This is my tankiness without even doing that. <laughs> without even activating them. So that's pretty hilarious. Shadow can never overtake light, demon. Whatever you say, bro. Oh, that was quick. Yes. What, are you? what am I? An aura stacking guardian, that's what. Yes. So yeah, for oh. the for the ascendancy, I went uh, unwavering faith, and I'm gonna do unwavering crusade. And then this is kind of what an aura stacking tree looks like. You just kind of go for as many cluster jewels and aura nodes as possible. And, uh, I was looking at my tree and not even paying attention to you doing that. <laughs> well, I guess you can unveil that if you want, or not. Well, it doesn't really matter. The league's only gonna... or the race is only up for another two days or whatever. I will see you. Oh, okay. Um, where... Did, we, did you not do the June thing either? June mission? Quest? Um, yeah, I did. Can you not? No, I can't see her. That's interesting, because she's here for me. Hello. Well, alrighty then. I mean, I didn't, I didn't finish it for for me, so whatever. Hello? Hello. We are taking the small one a day early for his birthday, so he can play on the Switch. Oh, that's very nice of you. Yeah. And then we'll probably feed him through stuff. Mm-hmm. Do you want Fusta? I like Fusta. Alec might come with Fusta too. Just so then Alex can take him home. Okay, we took a brief intermission and we're getting back to it. Just for a little bit more of uh, that Einhar gameplay. Yes, we need Einhar business. Einhar is required in every bit of gameplay, what? Oh hey, yes. it explodes. Very good. I mean, what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, basically, unless I get surrounded or something, like, there's just no way that this character is going to die. Yeah. Well, especially mm -hmm. if I have my flasks up for once. No, I'm doing them today. No, I know. 
Yeah, yeah at some point. Uh, just noodles or something? I guess, I don't know, I didn't ask you, just came in and said, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'll also be picking up Max for them too, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, the strong foxes. Yes. Yeah, so far, um, the strong foxes and the breaches, we pretty much agree are like the are the best ones. Yeah. I I'd say personally, the strong foxes are probably the best because then, you know, they they don't really get too crazy at all. Yeah, the strong boxes are definitely the best. While we were leveling, it was really rough because, especially being uh, for aura stacking, um, you don't really get the tankiness right away, so when you can't deal damage and you are relying on, a, on someone else, and you can't even really keep yourself alive most of the time, then, then that was... Basically, leveling an aura of character is just really not frustrating. Hmm? Not recommended. Yeah, not really recommended. I, I would say that definitely, like, for... Especially if you're doing it in standard. Um, either... Either be an aura bot for... In a group of more than just two, so at least one person can stick around and make sure that that you stay alive otherwise play as something else and then transfer over it if if you're doing it in standard usually like every league or so when they do the balance changes they give you a free reset and that is basically what I did in standard and and I think that's the best option where's the blacksmith yeah exactly oh there he is oh there he goes <laughs> yes Welcome. He couldn't take the heat. Yes. See you soon. So that has definitely been an experience. Like I said, you pretty much need the purities as well as, um, for sure, unwavering faith in order to like even have any tankiness, um, and then reserving life uh, on the low budget because this is a race. Quote unquote race. Yes. <clears throat> and um and that's pretty much what what I can say about that. Um Warmonger has been doing like a power siphon build. Power siphon a barrage. Wander. What now? A wander is what it's referred to as. Yes. Uh, power siphon and kinetic blast are his skills. And of course he has MTXs within MTXs, so you know. Gotta look good. <laughs> yes. Where I'm just bare bones. Yes. Who needs MTXs anyways? Keeping it classic. Mm-hmm. I think the invasion bosses might be the worst one. Well both invasion bosses and the rogue oh, exiles. Those. Yeah, those ones are trash. Yeah. Especially before I got set up, those were just, like, nope. <laughs> yeah. So overall, Mayhem has been... It, it was it was quite fun to, like, have that chaos uh, every map. Well, not every map, every area. Every, yeah, every zone. Every zone, like, having something new. It, it really made it refreshing to finally like get decent stuff early game because we were actually getting um some five links as well as uh some six sockets like at level 30 ish i want to say yeah and and that was pretty crazy like the they must have bumped up like the um item rarity or maybe the item quantity just did that much but uh yeah overall just the gearing wasn't really so much of an issue at all. It was just uh, the, the inherent craziness. And I do believe that because of that, this event is, is really more for 
seasoned players. Like, let's be real here. Um, it's for the real racers, like. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, sure, if, if you're an average player, you could pr probably get the you, the base level 50 um, thing, uh, reward, because yes, you do actually get a reward from doing this, depending on what level you get. And how did you kill one, like, right away? Kills. Um, I'll repeat then. Lol. Um, is he gonna die yet? No. No, he did. <laughs> no, tier 6 map, oh my. Oh boy. We're gonna do that next, what? Uh, let me see what region it's in. Oh. Gotta, gotta get it for the camera, what? Oh, please, Ellie, reflect. Wow. I don't know. Oh, there we go. So yeah, overall our experience has been pretty mixed depending on when where we were in the campaign as well yeah. as uh, after I got Prism Guardian it has been pretty much smooth sailing from there again like getting the purities is just so important oh and getting zero sulfite that is uh yes oh cause we have a renders yeah oh and also uh there are harbingers I don't know if I had mentioned that I think I, that was the one thing I forgot <laughs> Oh yeah, restricted section. Oh, I guess we're going. I didn't mean to click that, but I guess we're going in here now. Well, you're immune to chaos anyways, so uh, yes. Indeed. Oh really? Not being able to traverse gaps. <coughs> yeah, that's uh, quality. Indeed. Need Vol summons guns. Yeah, totally. Oh, come on, with aura stacking? Oh, yeah. Niha. Is that enough spam? Imagine if this was beyond. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, alrighty boy. then. Okay, I guess I'm gonna move. <laughs> Powerful crits, my butt. And also the joy of after you die activating like 20 auras is, um, yes. Already? Yeah, you shouldn't need to do that once uh, you get to play the standard one. Yeah, the standard one, if we get everything I'm hoping we're gonna get, that's gonna be insane. If I die from that, then there's some serious shenanigans going on. <laughs> The, probably the only thing that would actually kill you in standard would be like a minus max res map. Oh, true, yeah. But if I have 90% uh, resist or 89% or whatever, then at least it's going to be greatly mitigated. Yeah. So, how about you describe your experience with, uh, Fate will find you. with Mayhem before I call it off here? Uh, well, I must say that it it feels well, really good to be playing with Norbot versus how we usually do, which is basically what we normally do is, like, two characters that may or may not help each other... Uh, depending on what 
damage types they do and what curses they do and whatnot. So having like a dedicated second player that literally just buffs you is a really nice gameplay. Yeah. And it especially helps for an event like this when there's so many more monsters that you you really need to be playing a lot more uh, smart to be competing with everything that's going on. Yeah. So it's certainly, uh, at times it has been not so great, but a lot of the time, like now, it's actually really good. So mm -hmm. right. I'm glad that we did this. And once we get a standard, that's going to be insane. Yes. Yeah, and and uh, and and the funny thing is, is that when you think about it, um, the idea of just playing a character that just dedicatedly buffs someone, like it says, it sounds oh, superior smite, wow. Uh huh. Um, it sounds as if it would be like a really boring gameplay, and to some people it might be so. But in complete honesty, I don't really mind it all that much because I'm more of the type of player who wants to make more of a difference rather than, like, caring how the character plays. Like, the simpler it plays, the typically the more enjoyable it is. So, like, the main focus of just doing one skill, like, every so often smite in order to get the aura effect is is not really all that bad, in all honesty. Like, it could be a lot worse. Um, and the fact that I'm not dying all the time is yeah. actually really, is really nice. It's basically the same thing what happened with the uh, Soul Rend character, is that since I wasn't dying all the time and losing XP constantly, I was actually having more fun, even though that it was arguably a much simpler gameplay. Um, so that's basically how I would describe it as, and this event has really made it clear that losing XP when you die is even more of a problem in this type of events, because if you... Like, if you don't have a dedicated aura bot, like we've been saying of like how much benefit that is, uh, Warmonger doing maps by himself without me playing with him has been, it sounds like, a miserable experience because you're constantly losing XP and it doesn't really feel like you're getting anywhere. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, basically, again, it's the argument of losing XP is one of the mass major things that makes us not want to play the game and it just really it would be really nice if that was removed at, or at least on the softcore well I mean I guess softcore is the only well, place it exists but yeah, you know if you want a hardcore experience where you get pe penalized where you die like that's what hardcore should be you know like we don't play softcore in order to have stuff like that. <laughs> right. Hopefully, we're playing to have fun, not to get frustrated by having juiced up maps where we might get something good and then constantly uh, lose hours of progress because we actually want currency or whatever. Yeah. Or just have an Orbot with you and then, you know... And then just don't die for him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Baron influence is always incredible. Indeed. Uh, it wasn't bad. Yeah. yeah. How was work? Mm. Oh, yeah, of course. Indeed. Oh, well, that's good. Yep. So I think for, for this episode here, it's probably getting uh, longer than I wanted. Um, we're just going to end this, uh, finish up this map. Well, you can't say no to this quality gameplay. <laughs> well, true, <laughs> yeah. And me not really doing a whole lot.
You're just uh, showing off my MPX as well. Basically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this random breach, though. Oh, and uh, one thing I did want to mention at least once is that they did seem to give it, uh, give the breaches a, like breach league breaches. Yeah, which was um, actually really good. Uh, more often than not, so what that means is that you get breaches that actually have swarms of enemies, whereas usually in standard and whatnot, uh, the breaches are actually like pretty, pretty much a joke, unless you are doing tier sixteens or red maps for some reason. Like, they trickle in enemies instead of having swarms of enemies, and it's like, well, if I'm gonna do a breach, like, isn't the whole point of it is to have swarms of enemies? I don't know. Yeah, honestly. Basically, w <laughs> what Delirium does. Yeah. See you. So yeah, um, is there anything we missed or anything you think that we should mention quick here? Um, I think we've mentioned everything. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, well this has been uh, the Mayhem Racing event. And like we've said, it it, it is quite a vastly different gameplay than... Uh, than what we're used to, which has been quite nice to just uh, experience that. And there are a few more races after this. We haven't really decided whether or not we're going to participate very vigorously on them to get any of the MTXs. The next one is the Endless Delving event, but unfortunately you can only play that solo for some reason. So... Because yeah. of that, we might not really do anything with it, or at least I won't. So, unless I, for some reason, want to get the MTXs, which you basically need to get to level 60 in order to get anything. I mean, I guess you have a chance of getting something decent at level 50, but... If you want something where you actually know what you're getting, uh... Level 60 is the way to go, and that obviously isn't like an instant thing so I think that I would probably rather just play our heist characters and get progress on that front instead but I mean we'll see it if they made it multiplayer I would be a lot more intrigued and and the idea of endlessly delving without needing sulfate actually does sound like a really neat idea so we'll see on that, but I may or may not actually make a video on it, because well, I don't know what build I would make, and it's I mean, it's Delving, so I mean, you can just see Delving gameplay throughout the Plague to level 100 series as is, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll see. Um, okay, so, the very last thing that I'm gonna mention is that if One we... More thing. Yeah, yeah, precisely is that in standard, if we do get the aura bot working and working well, I will not be switching over to that character for the level 100 series. Like, I want to level... Well, I mean, he's going to get to level 100 anyway, but uh, eventually... Probably, yeah. yeah, probably at some point. But even so, I do want to get to level 100 this other character that I've been working on um, as an actual character, not someone who just smacks an enemy every three seconds and tries to keep up with someone who's actually doing all of the work. Um, if, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, with that, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this Path of Mayhem, and have a wonderful day.